This is going to be a very quick uh, video of the e-natal chart. We're going to start from the e-natal front desk, which is covered in another tutorial. And instead of looking for a patient, we're just going to click on a patient's name and go directly to her chart. The first thing you'll notice is a blue banner across the top. The blue banner contains all the key information about the patient and her pregnancy, uh, but it also serves as a navigation device. So I can click on her name, uh, get her gravity parity, I can look at her important dates, I can look at our special EDD reconciliation view, I can look at her risks, and so on. Um, the new tab uh, basically shows all the things that are really important, uh, that are new uh, for the provider to uh, consider. Uh, let's go to the flow sheet view. Uh, looks like a flow sheet. Uh, all the things that are in bright blue are abnormal and are very hard to miss. Uh, if you want to look at graphs, you can look at graphs. Um, but uh, very standard OB flow sheet. Now I'm going to just hide that out of the way and this comes to our part of our clinical decision support. The care items do are reminders and in this case they're all overdue as this patient is 39 weeks. Users don't have to look anywhere else, read any notes or look at post-it notes. Everything that needs to be done for this visit are located in this view um, and can be marked off and checked off appropriately and that then becomes part of the documentation. Uh, you can also write notes uh, for that visit uh, if so inclined. Uh, notes can be uh, created uh, for many different categories. Uh, let's go to the History tab and this is what the history looks like. Uh, to enter information into the history uh, as simple as point and click and we'll pull up the gynecologic history. We'll talk to the patient about these key topics will document uh, her answers um, and make comments if necessary and we'll simply uh, enter that. Uh, the next, the physical, looks uh, almost identical to the history. Uh, let's look at the test for the patient. Uh, this is what the tests look like. Um, as with the paper prenatal record, the tests have to be entered, but again, it's simple as point and click. We can bring up a prenatal panel and go click, click, uh, click and enter our, our laboratory values and then save that information as well. The info tab shows uh, the general uh, information about uh, the patient um, and any of these can be changed. The chart tab uh, really shows some of the power of eNatal. Besides looking at notes, uh, eNatal can export all the information that's stored in an eNatal as a PDF a download document TIFF file or even a XML file that can be integrated and is interoperable with any EMR. Uh, um, that's a quick overview of the uh, eNatal chart and thank you for your attention and please look at our demos for the front desk and our clinical decision support. Thank you.